Rebel Rally, Texas Truck of the Year, Supplier Diversity, all right now on Stellantis Spotlight. When the dust settled after the sixth Rebel Rally, Jeep SUVs overwhelmingly led the pack. The 2021 Jeep Wrangler 4xe was the first electrified vehicle to win the 1,500-mile trek across the Nevada and California deserts, finishing in both first and second place, taking the overall win and the Bone Stock Award. In addition, the Jeep Wrangler swept the podium, securing the top three positions while also taking five out of the top ten spots. Team 4xE Venture, with Nina Barlow and Tara Lynn Peterite, and their Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 4xE took the overall win, along with Bone Stock and Electrified Awards. The mother and daughter team of Christine and Emily Benzi and their 2021 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 4xE Team Jeep Thrills brought home a strong second place. And the Jeep brand also proudly teamed up with Team Astsa Skoden Rebels of Shandina Peters and Raquel Black, the first all-Navajo team to compete in the rally. Since the Rebel rally started six years ago, Jeep 4x4 vehicles have won five of six overall wins. To learn more, visit rebelrally.com. The 2021 Ram 1500 TRX received the top honor as the Texas Truck of the Year, in addition to the High Performance Truck of the Year, at this year's Texas Motor Press Association's Off-Road Invitational event. Jeep brand vehicles also took home several awards. Off-Road Truck of the Year was awarded to the 2021 Jeep Gladiator. The all-new 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L was awarded Full-Size SUV of the Year. And the 2021 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392 was awarded High Performance SUV of the Year. A groundbreaking pilot program and partnership with the National Business League kicked off this week. The National Black Supplier Development Program, which will run through the first quarter of 2022, is the initial phase of a larger program to develop black suppliers for future contracting and procurement opportunities in pursuit of greater racial equity in the marketplace. The program will start with 13 black-owned businesses that represent geographic diversity and a range of disciplines and commodities. Post-pilot, the program will support the development of more than 2.9 million black businesses around the country and internationally for future opportunities within the federal government and public and private sectors. And finally, the company has announced that it has entered into a memorandum of understanding with LG Energy Solution and Samsung SDI to form joint ventures to produce battery cells and modules for North America. The joint venture with LG Energy would establish a new battery manufacturing facility to help power Stellantis' goal of realizing more than 40% of its sales in the U.S. are comprised of electrified vehicles by 2030. Targeted to start by the first quarter of 2024, the plant aims to have an annual production capacity of 40 gigawatt hours. The Samsung SDI joint venture to produce battery cells and modules for North America is targeted to start in 2025. The plant aims to have an initial annual production capacity of 23 gigawatt hours with the ability to increase up to 40 gigawatt hours in the future. The battery plants will fulfill the needs of the company's assembly plants throughout the US, Canada, and Mexico for installation in next-generation electric vehicles, ranging from plug-in hybrids to full battery electric vehicles that will be sold under the Stellantis family of brands. Those are this week's top stories on Stellantis Spotlight. Reporting for Stellantis Digital Media, I'm Peter Spezia.